My name is uh, Maria Vaughn, and I am a second year Master in Fine Arts for painting and drawing. Well, I try to use really bodily materials. I try to replicate skin as best I can. Um, I use human hair as well that's been donated to me by a student of mine. Um, and I think that it comes from society's obsession with the surface and with blemishes. And, you know, the concept of your hair and your value is based on what your skin and your hair look like. So I try and make work about that and about, like, how we break ourselves down. I'd like you to look at how I'm dissecting and dehumanizing the body and maybe think about how you do that to yourself. I'm Sean O'Hanlon. Um, I am a senior, uh, graduating in the spring, and I'm a BFA. I'm working with figure, and they're kind of like a cast of characters, so you'll see that like there's a child character who repeats in a few of these, and then she, or maybe she's taken out, and then there's a woman who has a, her hair up. Um, I'm just kind of like trying to begin understanding their personalities so that I can kind of like take them away in a sense. So these are like not quite narratives. Um, they kind of set up a scenario, but they don't necessarily tell a story yet. Most of these are based on dreams that I've had, so I would call it the dreamscape. Um, I'm also really interested in surrealism and the whole surrealist movement, uh, poetry, the painting, the, the live performances. Um, so these are all sort of a combination of surrealism and abstraction. So they, you know, give you the impression of being in a place or maybe through the color uh, invoke a certain emotion in the viewer, but they're sort of open-ended. So the viewer can kind of decide for themselves where they feel they're oriented. It's guttural, you know, it's like the, the, the color choices, the mixture of the color to me is um, based on a feeling that I'm having in the moment. So this is going to be an egg. It's not shaped out yet, so it's looking a little flat right now. Um, but when it's done, it's going to be this egg that's kind of floating in a void that could be outer space, it could be a womb, it could be inner space, you know, it's just kind of this dark nesting area for this egg. I'm also interested in science, like I have all the molecular yeah. geometry sketches up there. I'm Samantha Kaplan, but I go by Sammy Kaplan. Um, I'm a painting major, but I also, I'm actually also a major in theater arts with a concentration of costumes right now, focusing more on my painting, and I'm a senior. I'm very interested in the dancers. It's more about, um, with me it's more about, my work is like about the energy and movement, and I'm kind of like playing with defining it in all different forms, so like I'm playing with waterfalls, that's kind of a version of Niagara Falls, or like, or, and dancers with movement. I also like the energy of like little kids. So that's kind of something I'm exploring now. Why these particular colors? Because like I see... That's my favorite colors. <laughs> it's like, that's my color palette, yeah. Can you describe your art? I don't know, I just, I try to create energy in my work. And it's kind of like, I want people to feel good when they're around it. Can you describe your art in one sentence? Um, just one. Uh, impulsive. Of impulsive and uh, and uh, uh, in it, um, uh, and funny, impulsive and funny. The message you're trying to no. having fun. Yeah. Do you see a common theme prevailing in your art? Um. This rule, uh, funny. I'm the worst at interview. Uh, What's up with these babies? Hey, hey, hey. What's up? <clears throat> I'm actually being interviewed. Could I say a statement? Yeah. I feel that he has a strong sense of self. I really like branding, and I'm like, make a uh, do business. Afterwards, that's Isn't. the most vague thing ever. Uh, I want to like sell products. Because you have that mark that you leave 
the babies and the penises. Yeah, unfortunately that's part of my brand. That was not uh, an association I wanted. But the babies... Are you it. thinking of like getting rid of it? No, because I, the babies are like too good. And okay. even though I don't want to be associated. And the babies and penis combo is so not me. Like, oh, it's not you? It, no. No. Rachel Nolte, and I am a senior, and I am a sculpture BFA student. Well, I guess it started with my material dialogues class. We have to do a series of pieces dealing with time, so fast, medium, and slow. And for my fast piece, I decided to work with balloons and have them pop against a cactus. So I built this funnel type thing to force them, so kind of a pointless contraption type thing where they all, the whole point is that the balloons will get destroyed. And then I had a bunch of broken balloons, so I started making things from that. We've got a lot of different things going on, but right now it's all fairly experimental and just sort of exploring properties of unusual mediums, but overall I'd say that I'm interested in this idea of sort of um, dangerous playtime. I want to create experiences for people. Currently, I've been cataloging armed men, and I want to transform them and do things with those as a modular unit, as well as other materials. I want to catalog them and sort of build my own repertoire of these unusual materials that I've been working with, so that I can then work off that and make larger installation-type pieces. I guess just this idea of playing and experiences. Amy Cunningham, um, MFA Sculpture. This is my first semester. Um, I've been collecting the tags like since I was five years old with my mom. It's like all of the clothing. Yeah, it's my mom's clothing and my clothing for the past like 18 years basically. Just collected and. So I have this weird relationship with it where it's kind of like, it reminds me of my mom, but also it's like kind of like in your face, like materialism and consumerism when you see it all at once like that. So I was just kind of wanted to present it in a way that um, the viewer has to walk into it and then kind of gets like surrounded by all these images and marketing and like things in your face kind of. My, it, it was stupid, I was like five years old and um, I bought something and I thought the tag was pretty. How would you describe your human sentence? Oh gosh. Um, it's just about reflection, both my own and then also trying to engage the viewer to reflect like, on themselves.